in this lesson we'll learn how to do a fraction we'll learn how to add subtract multiply and divide up fractions so let's get started the first thing we'll learn how we add two fraction together so before we do anything let's make sure that you have a pen and a piece of paper that you could write something um so let's get started first thing we'll learn how to add fraction right so let me give you a very simple fraction that you, we could add together so you have one third plus one half so in order to add this to a fraction the first thing you need you need to find the common denominator so how you could find the common denominator so let me show you a trick how to do it. So you need to read the multiplication table. So three multiplication table and two multiplication table. Three, six, nine, twelve, two, four, six, eight. Now you could see what is the smallest common between these two lines. And you could see this is six is the smallest common. So six is the common denominator, right? So six here, six here. The next thing you need to find is equivalent fraction. So what do you need to multiply three to get six? You need to multiply that by two. That by two, you have to do the same thing on the top. What do you need to multiply two to get six? Three. So what do you have now? You have two over six, three over six. And you need to add spread across only the top numbers so that will give you five out of six okay so let's do another problem um one over four plus one half right the same thing you, you could do like the same way how i did uh to find common denominator in this case the common denominator will be four um, so what do you need to multiply 4 to get 4? Just 1. Do the same thing. What do you need to multiply 2 to get 4? Do the same thing. So now you can see 1 over 4 plus 2 over 4. If you add them, that will give you 3 out of 4. Okay. All right. Very good. So go to the next So in this section, we'll learn how to do some um, basic operation of um, mixed number, how to convert from uh, improper fraction to mixed number and mixed number to improper fraction. So before we do that, so what is a mixed number? So say like seven and one half. Mixed number is a number. The one part will be the whole number. The another part will be a proper fraction, All right? So how to make this into a um, this mixed number into improper fraction so you have you need to multiply 7 times 2 is 14 plus 1 so that will give you 15 over 2 let me give you another one 9 and 3 fifth so 9 times 5 is 45 plus 3 is 48 over 5 right so this is um, um, your turn now so let's see how you could do it. So you have 9 and 4 fifth. What will be um, the improper fraction? Let me give you another one. 7 and 3 over 5. So I'm writing the answer in here. Um, number 1 will be, so, so 9 times 5 is 45 plus 4, um, 49 over 5. And for number two will be seven times five is 35 plus three, um, 38 over five, right? So what you need to do, um, you need to multiply, this is add, multiply, this is add, right? So that how to make from um, mixed number two improper fraction. You could write a couple of more problems by yourself and try, okay? Go to the next. So next thing we'll learn how to make from 
improper fraction to a mixed number. So say like you have an improper fraction 29 over 5. Why this one is improper fraction? This top number is bigger than bottom. So that means um, numerator is greater than denominator. That is um, n is greater than d. So that is called improper fraction. Okay, so how to make this improper fraction into a mixed number? Same, divide. So keep that in mind. Anytime you divide a fraction, the top number go always inside. It doesn't matter which one is big and which one is small. Dividing fraction means top number go inside the box. 29. How many times 5 goes into 29? 5 times. So 5 times 5 is 25. If you subtract it, you get 4. Then you need to put a line here. The remainder will go always on the top and this one will go in the bottom. Right? Okay. So let's do another one. So say like a 79 over uh, 8. How to do that? So in order to do that, the same way 8 goes outside, 79 goes inside. So how many times 8 goes into 79? So 8 times 9 is 72. So 8 times 9 is 72, right? So now subtract it, 7 to uh, 9 to um, 2. So 9 minus 2 is 7, right? So the add is, so 7, put a line here, 7 goes in the top, 8 goes into bottom. So 8 times 9 is 72, plus 7 is 79. You could look at it, you could come back from here to here, right? If you cannot come back, you're wrong. So let me give you a couple of more problems so then you could practice by yourself. So say like uh, you have 39 over uh, 5, what that will be. Let's do another one um, is to 89 over 7, right? So you could try by yourself. Um, and if you know how to do it in the previous two example, you definitely would be able to do it. All right. So go to the next topic. So we'll learn now how to simplify fractions, right? So let's do a couple of problem and then I'll give you some practice that you could try, right? So, and another thing is very important. Make sure that you write every single thing, okay? This is very important. So say uh, I have 20 over 30, right? How to simplify fraction? Simplify fraction means you need to divide top and bottom by the same number. So what is the common number you could divide it? 20 and 30. So I found 10. So 10. You could start with 2, 3, 4, 5. It doesn't matter. You could go step by step, right? So I could get 20 divided by 10 is 2. 30 divided by 10 is 3. So that is 2 third, right? Let's do another one. So say like 18 over um, 20, right? So what you could do, you could divide the same or start with number two, right? You could do it step by step or you could do one time. So that will give you nine. 20 divided by two is 10. Okay, so let's let's do a couple of problems that you could practice by yourself. I'm gonna give you this um, 35 over 40. How to simplify that? number two is um, 16 over 22 how to do that so I'm writing my answer in here so that is actually um, 7 over 8 the answer will be here this is the answer this is the answer um, if you divide by 2 you get 8 we do it by 2 you get 11 right hopefully it makes sense to you oh sure um let's go to the next topic how to add fractions so i come back again here because we need to deal with little bit 
um, mixed number problem. So let's do that. So 9 and 1 half plus 4 and 1 third, right? So you have to you have to deal with this thing. Um, so um, make sure that you follow the previous examples uh, I showed how to make from improper fraction to mixed number and mixed number to improper fraction. So that's how you have to do it. So let's do it. So 9 times 2 is 18 plus 1 is 19 over 2 plus 3 times 4 is 12 plus 1 is 13 over 3. Okay. The same thing. You need to find the common denominator here. The common denominator will be 3 and 2 will be 6 here. 6 there, right? So what do you need to multiply 2 to get 6? Just 3. Just 3. So 3 times 19, 3 times 9 is 27, 7, carry 2, 3 times 1 is 3, plus 2 is 5, so 57 over 6. You need to multiply that by 2, that by 2, so that is 26. Now if you add them together, so um, 6 plus 7 is 13, 3, carry 1, 5 plus 2 is 7, plus 1 is 83, so that is 83 over 6. Now, what you need to do, you need to turn this improper fraction into a mixed number. So, let's do that. So, you have 83, right? So, how many times 6 goes into 8? 1 times 6. It's 2, right? Bring 3. 6 goes into how many times? 23, um, 5 times actually. Not five times. Um, it will go six goes into three times. So three times six is eighteen, and you have remainder is five. Put a line. This is five out of six. Okay. Makes sense. So this is how you have to do um, addition of mixed numbers. Let's go to next. So let's do a, uh, a, a practice problem, right? So I'm going to write a practice problem and you have to solve it. So I will give you two problems. One here, um, 9 and 1 third plus 5 and 1 half. You need to follow the same way the previous example and you'll be able to do it. I'll give you another one here is uh, 15, 1 over 2 plus 7 1 over 4 right so i'm writing the answer in here so you could you could um ch check if you get it or not if you don't get it let's look back the previous example and you'll, hopefully you'll understand so the answer for that number one answer will be 14 and 5 over 6 and for the two answer will be 20 2, 3 over 4. Alright. Okay. Go to the next one. And now we'll learn how to subtract fraction. This is exactly the same that we did for addition. So let's do that. So 9 and 1 fifth minus 4 and 1 half. Right. The same thing. Make this mixed number into improper fraction. So 9 times 5 is 45 plus 1 is 46 over 5 minus 4 times 2 is 8 plus 1 is 9 over 2, right? So what is the common denominator here? So if you don't remember how to find um, the common denominator, you could look back. Uh, the first problem I did, it. so you have to follow the same way. Let's do it one more time here. So 5 and 2 right 5 10 15 20 2 4 6 8 10 you see this 10 is the smallest common so that will be the common denominator in that case right so let's write that down this is 10 this is 10 right 
So what do you need to multiply 5 to get 10? It's 2. Do the same thing on the top. So that will give you 46 times 2 is 92. Minus. You need to multiply by 5. Multiply by 5. So 5 times 9 is 45. So now you could subtract. So 92 minus 45. 5 to 12 is 7. Carry 1 is 5. 5 to 9 is 4. Right? So over 10. So that is 47 over 10. So that is... Um, a, an improper fraction so you have to turn into a mixed number so let's do that 47 right so how many times 10 goes into 47 is four times so four times 10 is 40 right uh, subtract it you get seven put line here the remainder go in the top and this one go in the bottom so that is the final answer 4 and 7 over 10. So let's do next problem. 9 minus 3 and 3 fifth. Right? So if you don't have anything underneath of that, you could put 1 to make your life easier. So 9 over 1 minus 3 times 5 is 15 plus 3 is 18 over 5, right? The same way, find the common denominator, which is 5 here. So multiply that by 5, that by 5, by 1, by 1. So we have 9 times 5 is 45, and then 18 times 1 is 18. So if you subtract it, that will give you 27 over 5. What you need to do next? Make this improper fraction into a mixed number, 27. 5 goes into 27 is 5 times. So 5 times 5 is 25. Subtract it, you get 2. This is 2 over 5. So the answer is 5 and 2 fifth. All right? Very good. Now I'll give you some a practice problem on um, on subtraction. So let's get it started. I'll give you some a practice problem now. Uh, that you could practice by yourself to make sure that you understand all the um, example problems. So let me write that down. So I have in one, I have uh, nine and one fifth minus three and one half. I have another problem for you that is eight minus three and three fifth. Okay, so you try by yourself first, and I'm writing the answer here. Um, so then you could check your answer to make sure that you understand. Um, the answer will be the number one answer is uh, five and uh, seven over ten. So answer two will be four and two fifth. So if you don't get it, so you need to look back your um, your problem. Um, the example so then it could go all right so now let's move to the next section the next section will learn how to do multiplication so as I mentioned before uh, the multiplication the most important thing you need the times table make sure that you know that all right so let's start with simple problem so uh, 3 fifth times 1 half right so if you want to multiply two fractions, you need to multiply multiply straight across. That means you need to multiply top to top, bottom to bottom. Let's keep that in mind. You don't need to find the common denominator if you multiply or divide. You need a um, uh, common denominator only if you add or subtract. So that will be 3 times 1 is 3, 5 times 2 is 10. So that is the answer, right? Mm-hmm. <clears throat>
So let me give you another problem. So um, that is three and one fifth times 35, right? So as I told before, you need to make this mixed number into improper fraction. So three times five is 15 plus one is 16 over five times 35. So if you if you don't have anything underneath, you could just put one. Now do that. So you, you need to multiply top to top, bottom to bottom. So um, if you multiply 16 times 35, that will give you uh, 560 over 5. So is it a, a it is a uh, improper fraction? So you need to turn it into a mix and number. So let's do that. So 5 into 5, 6, 0, right? So 5 goes into 5 is 1 times is 5. Bring this 6 down. 5 goes into 6 is 1 times is 5. And then 1 and then 0, right? 5 goes into 10 is 2 times. So 5 times 2 is 10. So that's that's it. So the answer is um, 112. So one thing I need to be clear here. Um, anytime you multiply, it is not necessary that it has to be a fraction. It could be a whole number. It doesn't matter. Okay. So let's uh, go to the next. Uh, I'm going to give you some example uh, that you could try by yourself. So let me write that down few problems that you could try by yourself. So the one I want you to do is um, 3 over 5 times 1 over 10. What will be the answer? The second one I want 9 and 1 half times 4 and 1 third, right? So if you look at that, um, you try by yourself and check with my answer. So the answer will be, is number 1 will be um, 3 over 50. Answer 2 will be 41. 1 over 6 okay so if you get this thing then you're right if you did not get it so go back to the example and make sure that you understand so now let's move to the next topic in this section we'll learn how to divide fractions so let's get started, okay? So I'm gonna give you a few uh, division problem. We'll do it together and I'll also give you some example um, to practice, okay? So let's do it. So I have a fraction say like I have one fifth divided by one half. If you want to divide two uh, fractions, the first thing you need to do, uh, you need to know a rule called K, C F Kentucky Fried Chicken. Keep change flip. So that means you have to keep the left side. So one fifth. Send the sign division into multiplication and then flip it. So if you multiply top to top, bottom to bottom, you will get two over five. Right? Let's go another problem. So I have a problem here is 8 and 1 over 4 divided by 1 4 so let's first make this mixed number into improper fraction so 8 times 4 is um, 32 plus 1 is 33 over 4 and then I'll flip it so then 4 over 1 so what you could do you could multiply top to top bottom to bottom so that will give you um, 3 times 4 is 12, 2, carry 1. 3 times 4 is 12 plus 1 is 13 over 4. So now you could make this improper fraction into a. So that is uh, 4 with 1, 32. 4 goes into 13's 
uh, 3 times, so 3 times 4 is 12. Subtract it, you get 1. Bring this 2 down, 4 goes into 12 is 3 times is 12. So the answer is 33. Okay. So let's, uh, let me give you some example problem that you could practice by yourself. So I have a few problems for you to work on. The first one I have here. Um, so 2 fifth divided by uh, 1 half, right? So I have another problem for you to practice is um, 8 and 3 fifth divided by 2. So the answer will be for these two problems. Number one answer will be um, 4 over 5. The answer for the two will be 4 and 3 over 10. So first try by yourself and uh, check with the answer to make sure that you get it. If you don't get it, what's the problem uh, the, in the example problem? and practice again all right so this is how you have to deal with all these um, fractions i highly recommend you to watch this video three times and practice at the same time 